today we're going to take a look at the flick button which integrates with some of your smart home tech. There is a message on the back of the box which is thanking people for purchasing their button. Okay, so now on to the unboxing. It says the wireless smart button on the side. When opening it also says hashtag flick is here. So taking the first layer off, uh, here is the, the rubber button. Uh, it's very small as you can see in comparison to my fingers. Uh, on the back is a sticky pad uh, which you can peel off the, the layer of film and then stick it on your wall or your doors or wherever else you want to stick it. Uh, further looking into the box to see if there's anything else in here. And yep, underneath the, the bottom layer there is a clip so you can stick it on your belt uh, or clip it to any other places if you don't wish to, to stick it to your wall. Okay, so now we are going to install the Flick app. Uh, we've searched for it in the App Store and now we're installing it. Uh, just waiting on that. Okay, so we'll open the app. Here it is. Uh, asking for me for push notifications. Okay. And then I'll need to enter my details. To connect a button, your Bluetooth needs to be on. And then at the bottom of the screen, you press the plus button. And then you press the flick button in and click connect. And it should find itself uh, as it's done here. And then you need to set, set the options up on the button. You need to give it a name. So I'm just going to name it Living Room, as that's the, the room I'm planning to put it in. Uh, and set the relevant options for click, double click and hold. So on click I'm scrolling through the options uh, to find something that's a bit uh, relevant to what smart tech that I have. Uh, I know that it supports uh, Wemo and I've got a Wemo switch in my lounge which controls a lamp which looks a bit like a golf ball. So I'm just looking for it. Ah, there it is. Just click on that. And it, it says Wemo setup. So it's just setting up. And then it's paired. So uh, it's showing the devices. Which is showing my golf ball lamp. And I'm just going back. Um, oh, I think I need to tick it. There it is, golf ball lamp, tick, and click add in the top right. And then that option set on the first click, so that should uh, toggle on and off my um, lamp within the lounge. For double click, now I need to set something else. Um, I'll just set something on the music player on the iPhone. Um, and I'll select um, some songs or artists. Um, it oh, doesn't really matter which for testing. So I'll just scroll down and take some uh, Mars. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Click add, and it will take add that to your setup for double click. And then finally, we need something for hold. Again, I'll just choose something that is easy to demonstrate, so we can. Uh, Test the product and make sure it works before we get into further advanced stuff. Just select volume control. And turn it up. And set that by pressing add as well. And then we've got three options that we've got and now we can test it. We can go over and test it out. So here's my golf ball lamp. One press. Oh, and it turns on. And heading over to my iPhone. Press it and music comes on. And then I'll hold it and then you should be able to hear it. I'll do it a few times. Turning itself up step by step. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and look out for future reviews of smart home tech.